hachu apanki jishawa anibungka sha chona si ichua byongbo joni mina mamba to mule ra haku gri kat kota para bola tanga bok sha um nak nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni ji ji alduana kava vol pa muli kumana Mokao danya foki chachiska to punta kakaspaka bano oto Ken chopa chawi ti chop twis yun kun watu yama kama wona henak nek bugra shak kunti chi wa um chawa dong abuk shami no nok Watu wama muli ri kin kun chope shwa no ba muli raji Jone yuturi yanchi ida bola unchi chnek bahmuli selima wanga kun bitkin Hachu a punky, G shower, Tanga box.
through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this pox infects our society. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu, yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong na bun shanu yang. Kipuna na bon sha, kavadumpa kupalia ya mokar pata, kakin cha na kwat na bon kon, wana kumbes, chi pala mulek, tong ki pa na nonek, tu nik ton chun chun ki nemolek rabest. Uf mala ni bokurk. Uf. 
Mana mana tota hakuji krala bolaji chok shun tang shun kipa unna panka muli rikon kili kon kili no ba wati monya lakona ona kun muli ra. Smilia, ti on puto punta krita topa na oto vas casa. Kava dumpa kapa kipuna kaki. Mana mana. Smile. You cannot win.
I'm here. can I do? Bobo, 
Wanna come best get gang, but mama ruli ra. La boda ni when he's my toma. Wanna come best ching pa ma ruli ra. Top ching bang non kick. Top ninja muli ra ra best. This guy do suki guba na bona na gachu. A to inko tu. Top a da bun kwal ya gando na go chu chu. Kaba chi ku ita hotonga. Ya la mo inko tu. Jilo ba muli ra ni bobo. Wango kung best get gang, ba mama ruli ra. Ja wana bota ayu at tahunga cha kanki dora. Kachi ku ita hodonga. To bada bong wali agando do na no chut chut. Muksha pa pong pa, bola wana chik ne. Ba muli slay mo o boda wanga kung best muli ra ra best. Uba batu kochi. Uba batu kochi. Tong nong bong chong nung yang. Tong patok smak delia. Kuyami just ku na chik tenai. Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chi kun Slimo pa dona Mundi ha donga chi honka bi Ya toka un Oh, my God. 
I'm here. I'm here. I'm here.
done. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. Ah, yes. Feed the hatred and anger within yourself. Call upon the power of the dark side. But not even that can save you now. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. <laughs> Yes? Now that must have hurt.
What can I do? <laughs> already shown me you're just be
back again. Excellent. You did well enough. If you're up. Back again. Axe. You did well enough. If you ever. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. 
That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Summon me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of... of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cath hound in the pack. But you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Important lesson to learn, no doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. With a recommendation from Candorus, and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. 
But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk's security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. What? Huh?
Yeah, what do you want? You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Kandorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were aren't a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand, and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle, and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Yeah, what do you want? <sighs> yeah, I know, Taris. I wasted the last two years in this rat hole working for Davik. I suppose an accurate way to describe this place would be cesspool or dump. You got the rich on top, the poor being crushed underneath, and people like me trying to make a living doing the crushing. It's not exactly what you'd call spiritually fulfilling work, but it gets the bills paid. And on Taris, money can go a long way to making things easier. You have anything else you want to ask? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the male slaves could serve your needs better. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, but... Welcome to the slave quarters, mistress. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. Would you like a relaxing massage, mistress? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. As you wish, mistress. You will find this most relaxing. If you would come with me into the massage room at the back. I trust you are satisfied. Please, I beg you, don't tell Davik you are displeased with me. He punishes those slaves who do not satisfy his guests. I am sorry I have failed to please you, my lady. I will try to do better in the future. Is there anything else you require from this most unworthy servant? But what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death.
praise from the guests is a valuable commodity here. Devik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that, because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Ebon Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Hudro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters, and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. As you wish, mistress. You will find this most relaxing. If you would come with me into the mas... I trust you would. Please. As... as you wish, mistress. It will not be the first time I have been punished by Davik. I am sorry I have failed to please you, my lady. I will try to do better in the future. Is there anything else you require from this most unworthy servant? Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what we offer here. We exist only to serve. On it. Done. On it. Done. On it. Done. On it. Done. On it. Yeah! <laughs> 
What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha chupapanki. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. You should have picked an easier target. By the time the guards show up, they're gonna have to take you out of here in pieces. Yes. Huh? You cannot win.
On it. Done. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. What? How dare dare you speak to me like that? I could ask Dalek to have you flayed alive for such insolence. Don't work for Dalek. Then what are you... 
Plus, assassins, guards, save me! This is what I have Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. Please don't hurt me. I'll tell you everything I know. Information worth a fortune. So just stay calm, okay? I I'll tell you what I know. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Questions? Please, I've already told you the only useful thing I know. Just let me go before Davik figures out I'm missing. We got what we came for. There is no need to indulge your appetite for violence. You core slime! I didn't survive through all that torture just to let you kill me! Ah! Damn no Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. 
Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bomb's dead drop and we'll kill us all! What can I do? Thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn those shit! I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Ah. Uh. 